Hello, baby. Oh, how's my little girl? <laughs> oh, I thought I had someone at the door. Oh, hello, mother. Hello, darling. <laughs> Well, I'd like you both to meet Michael Dubinsky, and these are our friends Hayden Fox and Christine Armstrong. How you doing? This is my father, Judge R.J. Watkins, and my mother, Merlene. Hey. And this is Peppa. <laughs> Uh, she's the real baby of the family. Uh, it's a he, Merlene. <laughs> Pepper is my mother's pride and joy. <laughs> she's just about the dearest thing in the world to me. Uh, I can vouch for that. <laughs> well, would anybody besides me like a cocktail? Oh, yeah. Well, what are you drinking, Hayden? Well, I uh, usually don't drink anything, but I'm going to make an exception tonight. <laughs> you and I are going to get along. <laughs> oh, um, would you like to uh, play fetch? Sure. You meant... Me throwing it to the dog, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now, go to the big awkward young man. <laughs> there you go, Andy. So, we understand you are Mr. Dubinsky's superior. Well, I don't like to think of myself as anybody's superior. Oh, you mean you work for Mr. Dubinsky? No, no, no. <laughs> And you don't have to call him Mr. Dubinsky, Mother. His name is Michael. Uh, actually, most people call me Dauber. <laughs> oh, why is that? Well, actually, it's a name I, I gave him during his playing days. See, the, the way he moved always used to remind me of a big old mud dauber. <laughs> uh, mud daubers, those dreadful long-legged insects? Yeah, they're, they're wasps. Oh, what an unfortunate name to be called. <laughs> Well, it's not unfortunate, really. It's just a nickname. You know, I give nicknames to all the people I'm really fond of. Don't I, Stinky? <laughs> Actually, Dauber, here's my number one man. Oh, that, that's true. Hayden's always saying it's hard to imagine getting through a season without Dauber. Oh, thanks, guys. Yeah, you know, he runs a defense, kind of, and helps out in there, does some scouting reports, and... Got his own youth football camp in the summer. Yeah, sounds like you keep busy, son. Well, plus, there's my studies. Okay, who's hungry? <laughs> oh, I, I didn't realize you were still in school. Is this uh, postgraduate work? Uh, well, no, it's, it's pre-graduate work. Yeah. You don't have a degree. So are we going to eat or what? <laughs> you can stop grilling him, Mother. I know what you're trying to do. Well, I haven't the slightest idea what you're talking about, honey. I thought I was being charming. I thought we'd just go down to the hotel restaurant. I got us a private room. I don't know if the food's any good, but I was very impressed with the bar. All right. <laughs> do you think Peppa will be all right alone here in the room? No, we're not taking the damn dog to dinner, Marlene. <laughs> I know that, dear. There's no need to curse. I'm sure Peppa will be just fine, Mother. Well, come on now before the dining room closes. All right, after you. How do you think I'm doing, Coach? Man, you're doing fine. Besides, you got the rest of dinner to charm the pants off him, Doc. I'm oh, just so nervous. I'm afraid I'm going to do something really stupid. Oh, no, relax. Come on, we're just going to go down and eat. Now, throw the ball. Let's go. We're five stories up. <laughs> I mean, how can we see anything? Not that I'd want to. He's dead, isn't he, Coach? No, he could be, uh... Oh, God, what could he be? <laughs> Jeez. He's dead. I know it. I've killed Judy's mother's dog. Dauber, it was not your fault. It was an accident. What am I going to do? Gee, Dob, I don't know. Oh, now wait a minute, there's a lot of bushes there, but maybe he landed on something soft, huh? It wouldn't be that lucky. Oh, when you're meeting your girlfriend's parents, and they don't like you in the first place, killing their dog is like the worst thing you could do. <laughs> well, yeah, Dob, I gotta admit, it's up there, all right. <laughs> Dumber. 
Nothing happened. Act natural. <laughs> Who is it? Christine. Oh, see, come on, get, get, get. What kept you guys in the back? But you were right behind us. Where right? is everybody else? Oh, see, they've already gone into the restaurant. What's going on? Oh. <laughs> No! Pepper! Pepper! Pepper jumped out the window! God! What? Oh, yeah! I, I accidentally threw the ball out the window and Pepper accidentally went out after it! Oh my god! But he's dead! Oh, oh Dob, he's not dead! We don't know that! We can't see! Oh, do, do you think there's even a remote chance a dog could survive a fall like that? Even if it did, what good would it be? Oh! Oh, but hey, we, we should get down there and check or something, shouldn't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. What am I gonna do? My life is ruined. Now, don't say that, Dobber. Your life is not ruined. Oh, Hayden's right. I, I, I'm sure Mrs. Watkins will, will... Well, I was going to say you understand, but it's hard, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> what am I gonna tell her? You're not gonna tell her anything. It's stupid to tell her anything until we know what happened. Now, come on, Dobber. Oh. I want you to go down there, check the dumpsters, the bushes, the pool. The tall patio, the cement sidewalk. Oh, now, wait a minute. Come on. Come on, we gotta have some hope. Christine, you and I will just go down and have dinner with the Watkins. We'll cover, okay, Dob? You go check and see if you can find out what happened. When you find out, you come and tell us, okay? What if it turns out that Pepper is dead? All right, then in that case, there's nothing else we can do. We gotta sit there, we're gonna have dinner. We're gonna come back here to the room, and we're gonna tell them the truth. Pepper was kidnapped. <laughs> right, let's go. 